Hello, Physics 2 students. Today we will be starting a new lesson, lesson 3 in module 19, Simple Circuits. Objectives for the lesson are, we will be calculating equivalent resistance for circuit uh, of resistors in series. Also, we will be finding the current and potential difference across each resistor in the circuit. And we will do the same for parallel uh, circuits. We will calculate equivalent resistance for a circuit of resistors in parallel and then we will learn how to find the current in and potential difference across each resistor in parallel. Review vocabulary, we need to remember all the time the definition or the meaning of resistance. Resistance is the measure of how strongly uh, an object, a device or a, mat a material impedes the flow of electric current or how hard for the current to flow in, a, in an element or in a wire and so on. According to Ohm's law, resistance R is equal to the potential difference, delta V divided by the current. Ohm's law is very essential in studying electricity and circuits, so you will uh, you, uh, have to use it all the time and keep it in mind. Now we know that a circuit where there is only one path for the current to flow is called a series circuit. What is special girls about the series circuit is that the current is the same through any or in any uh, resistor. If I place an ammeter here or here or here in any location, it will give me the same current and the same reading. The current that is passing through R1 is exactly the same current that is passing through R2, since there is only one path for the current to flow in. So in a series circuit, there is only one path for the charge to flow or for the current, and the current is the same in the entire circuit. But what is interesting that the voltage provided by the energy source or the battery gets divided between the devices in a series circuit. In this example here, I have three identical uh, lamps or light bulbs that are connected in series. The 12 volts gets divided equally between the three identical lamps. So each one, uh, the voltage across each one is only four volts. If you will add four plus four plus four, it will give you the total uh, voltage given uh, or the total voltage of the battery, which is a 12. So the voltage of the battery is equal to the sum of the voltage drops in each resistor in series. If you are interested in the total resistance in a series circuit or the equivalent resistance for these resistors that are connected uh, one after another in series, so you will be applying this formula, which is very simple. You will just add the value of the resistance of each one individually. Here you have some examples, six ohms and six ohms in series gives me an equivalent resistance of 12 ohms. If we add a third one of the same value, so 6 plus 6 plus 6 equals 18 ohm. This is the equivalent resistance of these three resistors. Uh, and if, they are, if there are four of them, then uh, it is uh, 24 ohms. The current, we said that the current is the same in each resistance, in each resistor. How to calculate it? You will simply apply Ohm's law. Here, whenever I will place a tri this triangle here means in this slide we are applying Ohm's law. The current equals voltage divided by resistance. So the current in any part of a series circuit is equal to the voltage of the battery divided by the equivalent resistance or the total resistance in this. So now let us solve one example. I advise you to be uh, pausing the video and to trying uh, to find the answer by yourself. Here we have three resistors, R1, R2, and R3. They are, as you can see, connected in series, and the total uh, voltage of the source is equal to 60 volts. If we are interested in the equivalent resistance for these three resistors, since they are in series, we will be just adding 17 plus 12 plus 11, and the value will be 40 ohms. If we want to find the current that is passing, as we discussed, it's only one value. The same current is flowing uh, everywhere in this circuit, and here, I am trying to show you the direction of the conventional current in the circuit. Yes, so this 
current according to Ohm's law will be the uh, voltage through the, the voltage of the battery divided by the equivalent resistance. So it will be 60 divided by 40 equals 1.5 amperes. So I have 1.5 amperes flowing through R1, 1.5 ampere flowing through R2, and the same value 1.5 flowing through uh, R3. Now for the voltage, we said it will be divided between the three resistors. They will be sharing the 60 volts. We will be applying Ohm's law for each resistor to know the potential difference across it. Voltage or potential difference is equal to current multiplied by resistance. So the potential difference across resistor 1 is equal to the current, which is 1.5 times the value of the resistors, resistance of R1, and the value will be 25.5 volts. We will be doing the same for R2 and R3 and calculating delta V1, uh, delta V2, and delta V3. As we said, they are sharing the 60 volts. So if we add, if we did everything correctly, if we add these three values, we should get back the 60. And you can check this by using your calculator. So again, to summarize, for series circuit, equivalent resistance is just the sum of the individual uh, resistances. And uh, for the current, it's the same value, total uh, voltage divided by total uh, resistance. And for the potential difference, it's divided. So, so the, six, the 60 volts is divided between the three resistors in this way. Okay, now let us remember together the meaning of a parallel circuit. A parallel circuit is a circuit where there is more than one branch or several paths for the current to flow in. But what is actually very special and unique uh, about parallel circuits is that the potential difference across the three resistors is the same. So here if I have three resistors connected in parallel, the voltage across all of them is just equal to the voltage across the battery here because they are connected in parallel with this battery. So if the battery is providing here uh, the circuit with six volts, this is the voltage across R1, and this is the voltage across R2, and this is the voltage across uh, R3, if these are the three resistors. So record this note, please. It's very important. The potential difference across all the resistors that are in parallel is the same uh, potential difference. While the current gets divided here, so if I have 14 amperes uh, entering here, the junction where I have three branches or three resistors in parallel, then the current will be divided between them. Depending on the value of the resistance, like the uh, highest resistance will be taking the lowest current. But if we add the three current values here, 3 plus 5 plus 6 will for sure give me the total current. So the total current in the parallel circuit or um, entering the parallel um, connection is equal to I1 plus I2 plus I3 and so on. So the current outside the branches is equal to the sum of the values uh, in the branches. If you want to calculate the current in each branch, you will be using Ohm's law again. So the voltage uh, across the branch uh, or across the parallel connection divided by the resistance of each branch. The formula of equivalent resistance in uh, parallel is actually uh, an interesting formula. 1 over R equivalent equals 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3 if there is uh, three, if there are three resistors, and so on. So here I have four and four connected in parallel, so the equivalent, if you will apply this equation, will be two ohms. Six and six in parallel will give me three ohms. Twelve and twelve in parallel will give me uh, six ohms. And as I add more resistors in parallel, actually the total resistance will be decreasing. Here I'm adding three resistors instead of two and as you can see here uh, three six ohms in uh, parallel will give me two ohms while two six ohms in uh, parallel give me three ohms so the total resistance 
uh, or the equivalent resistance, if I add more resistors in parallel, will be dropping because there is the current will be divided more and more. There are more branches for the current to flow in. Now let us study this example related to parallel circuits. I have here three resistors connected in parallel, 17 ohms, 12 ohms, and 11 ohms. They are uh, connected also to a 60 volts battery. If we want to find the equivalent resistance for the three resistors, I need to apply the uh, formula that we studied. 1 over R equivalent is equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3. Finding this side of the equation, you will find that 1 over R equivalent is equal to 0 0.233 um, ohm to the negative 1. If you want to find R equivalent, you need to take the reciprocal of each uh, uh, side of the equation, or you can uh, take this side to the power of negative 1 and this side to the power of negative 1. You will find R equivalent is equal to 4.29 ohms. And this is the equivalent resistance uh, of this circuit. If you are interested in the total current that is entering uh, to these three branches, uh, you will be applying Ohm's law again, which is equal to the total voltage. Equal, uh, total current is to, equal to the total uh, voltage divided by equivalent resistance, which is 14 amperes. So 14 amperes uh, is entering here uh, to the junction. While, once it is uh, facing these three branches, it will get divided between the three branches. There is a, a part of it entering to R1 and another part entering to R2 and then the third part entering to R3. To find the current in each individual branch, you must apply Ohm's law to each resistor. Like I1 is equal to delta V, which is 60, over the value of the first resistor resistance, which is 17. So 3.5 amps from the 14 is entering through R1. Do the same for I2 and I3. And if you will add up the three values here, I1 and I2 and I3, it must be the total current in the circuit. So the current entering the branches here is I total, which is 14 amperes. And then it will be divided uh, between the th three uh, resistors. Now, notice something that the higher the resistance, like R1 is the highest, it will be taking the lowest current uh, from the 14 or the lowest uh, portion. This table gives a nice summary uh, of what we discussed so far. For series circuits, the voltage gets divided between the resistors, while the current is the same since there is only one path for the current to flow. The opposite goes for the parallel. The voltage across resistors in parallel is, is equivalent, while the current gets divided between the branches. And here is the formula where you can calculate the equivalent resistance in series and in parallel. Sometimes the circuit that we have in the problem uh, is a complex one or has combination between a series and parallel connections. Like in this example here, I have uh, R2 and R3 are two resistors connected in parallel. They are connected in series with R1 and R4. So if you want to find the equivalent resistance here, you need to break down your problem. The first step, we need to find the equivalent resistance for these two resistors in parallel. For the parallel part, 1 over R equivalent is equal to 1 over 8 plus 1 over 8. Solving this, we will find the total resistance for this, uh, these two resistors, R2 and R3, is equal to 4 ohms. Adding this up with the 5 ohm here and the 6 ohm, we will get the equivalent resistance of, of the circuit, which is equal to 15 ohms. Since this parallel connection here is connected in series with the 5 ohm and the uh, 6 ohm. And just one tip for you girls, if you have two, whenever you have two resistors in parallel that have the same value and you don't want to uh, apply the steps or you want to do it mentally, the equivalent resistance will be half uh, one of them. 
only if the two values here are the same, if you want to do it fast or if you want to keep this uh, tip in your mind, on your minds. That was all for this lesson. I hope you take a clear note. We will be discussing this uh, more uh, in the live se sessions, inshallah. Please feel free to ask if you have any question. Don't forget to write the title of the lesson, the objectives, and write clear notes in your notebook and turn them in. Thank you.